Got him. It's quite a fit. Oh, nice cutthroat just spooked. He's underneath this uh, cut bank. About 12, 12 or 13 inches. I saw a fish come up. Like a fish had come up to look at the, the hopper. The previous cast. I forgot to bring the mosquito repellent and we're already getting attacked pretty bad. Just biting right through my long sleeve shirt. I'm gonna put a lighter, lighter nymph on. Seems to be pulling the the hopper down a little too much. I don't think I need that much weight anyway. shouldn't sink that much. Let's put on a size 12 Prince Nymph. These fish aren't picky. About a foot above that, maybe 15 inches. I got just a generic foam, foam hopper. I have a nine foot machine, la machine made leader, uh, 5X. And my rod is just this Temple Fork Outfitters, or TFO. That's the model there, Professional Series 2. It's a two weight, eight foot long. And I got this Orvis reel. It doesn't have any drag on it. It makes this loud noise. Of course the line is just a... Uh, it's a two-weight line. Let's see if that floats better. Yeah, it's floating better right away. I had a tungsten bead on that. That hair and copper I was using. That was just a little too much, a little overkill. Oh, a <laughs> guy tried to eat the hopper. I don't think he can. Oh, that was a big fit. That was a nice fish. Oh, damn it. A little guy came up, tried to eat the hopper. They can't fit it in their mouth. They may have to uh, may have to get a different, smaller dry fly on. If so you're wondering what that sound is, it's a bear bell. Got that in Alaska a long time ago. It's 
spent a summer up there playing baseball. And another summer doing an internship. And of course I got my bear spray on my side as well. This is prime grizzly country, man. Oh, that's a fish, little guy. There we go, fit it in his mouth. Ah, came off. That's a nice take. If you're wondering where I'm at, it's not a big name, a creek. But I don't want to give the name just because it's not, I didn't see it. Oh, there goes a fish. Ah. I don't want to give the name just because no, if it's not already well known or publicized, so I don't, I don't want to bring any attention to any river that's lightly pub publicized or has zero, you know, magazine article articles or videos about it. Though I did see some videos on these creeks. That's not like a secret spot. So I'm bit, I'll just say I'm somewhere around the Yellowstone area. Could be Idaho, could be Montana, could be Wyoming. I'm obviously close enough to Yellowstone with grizzly bears. Uh, grizzly bears are not not just in Yellowstone anymore. They've the last 10, 20 years they've really spread out into Wyoming and Idaho and Montana. Again, a fish had the hopper in his mouth. It's just not, it's almost like it's too big. I may have to switch. Switch to a little bit smaller fly. There you go, I think I took the, took the Prince Nymph. These are all Yellowstone cutthroat, by the way. Reading about this stream, didn't sound like there was anything else. Uh, eight or so inches. I see some teeth marks. <laughs> but I just think they're grabbing it, you know, at the head. I'm just missing the the hook. That guy's sitting right the roughest part of the water. Guy has a fish. He has a fish down his throat. I can see that. I don't want to pull pull it out, but there's a small minnow in his in his mouth. I think a guy that size would be able to eat another fish.
in the rack, and I tied on a chubby Chernobyl. There's two pretty good cutthroats just right below me, right, right in there. And I don't have a dropper on right now. I'm just gonna fish and dry it first. See what happens. Oh, he had it in his mouth. Got him. Again, those are butterflies flying around. Head on the streamer again. So I thought I would give this a try. Oh, immediately. Wow. Got him. <laughs> First cast. Oh, he came off. Oh, that was like that was like a 14 or 15 inch cutthroat. Oh man. There's gotta be another one in there. <laughs> that was pretty cool watching him. I was able to watch him follow it and slowly mouth it. And I did a strip set for some reason. This came off. That would have been the best fish of the day. That's too bad. Head on a uh, little pheasant tail on the bottom. So I got three flies on. Pretty good fish. This string. Be careful, there's some big rocks right down there you can't get wrapped up on. Bank is pretty slick. This guy took the number size. 18 pheasant tail. It's a nice fish. Let's 
quite a fish. It's about maybe 13 or 14 inches. That's where I slipped on. I was making my way downstream. Let's see if there's uh, some more fish in there. Let me know in the comments below if you like these uh, small little creeks. We want to see more of them. I'm definitely going to fish a couple more these next two weeks. And also again in, in August. And in September. Uh, September I might fish a couple. It might be too low by then though. It's just, it was a very relaxing day to, to get away from the big name rivers. Not to worry about the crowds and the drift boats. Another fish. Pheasant tail again. 